The Mississippi River the second longest river and chief river of the second largest drainage system in North America, is actually drying up. Recent reports have suggested that the river might dry up entirely, leaving millions in search for water. What's happening to the Mississippi River? What's the reason behind its drying up? Let's find out. The Mississippi River, a magnificent river in North America, is currently experiencing a prolonged drought which is threatening to decimate its existence. The Mississippi River has played a significant role in the history, culture, and economy of the United States, facilitating trade and transporting goods and agricultural products between the country's interior and the Gulf of Mexico. Several tributaries join it, including the Missouri River, Ohio River, Illinois River, Arkansas River, and Tennessee River. If the Mississippi River completely dries up, the U.S. will lose a major part of their water source. What will the country do then? The Mississippi River can be divided into three main sections, the Upper Mississippi, the Middle Mississippi, and the Lower Mississippi. The Upper Mississippi extends from Minnesota to St. Louis, Missouri, where it meets the Missouri River. The Middle Mississippi stretches from St. Louis to Cairo, Illinois, where it meets the Ohio River. The Lower Mississippi flows from Cairo to its mouth in the Gulf of Mexico, as another feather in its cap. Like most rivers, the Mississippi River provides and contributes to its flora and fauna as well. The Mississippi River and its surrounding areas support diverse ecosystems and wildlife, providing habitat for various fish species and migratory birds, such as ducks and geese, and offers numerous recreational opportunities. For many, it was more than just a river, but their homes. And these creatures were driven out from their homes due to the drought. This river was also used by humans considerably, especially for leisure. The river is especially a popular destination for river cruises. This allows tourists to appreciate the river's scenic beauty and visit historic cities along its banks. As the Mississippi River approaches the Gulf of Mexico, it forms a vast delta home to New Orleans, representing a unique and dynamic ecosystem characterized by wetlands, marshes, and swamps. The river which has provided for its ecosystem for a long time, has a rich history amongst humanity. Throughout history, the Mississippi River has been a crucial waterway for trade and transportation, which has played a vital role in the westward expansion of the United States and the development of cities along its banks, including St. Louis, Memphis, and New Orleans. Even today, the river remains a significant commercial artery for transporting goods. Today, it stands out as the Great River Road, a scenic byway that spans 10 states from Minnesota to Louisiana, allowing travelers to explore the river's history, cultural heritage, and stunning landscapes. If you ever find yourself traveling through these states, make sure to take the Great River Road. The Mississippi River holds a rich history of Native American civilizations, with indigenous cultures such as the Cahokia, Choctaw, and Sioux. These civilizations thrived in the region for thousands of years, before European exploration began in the 16th century. Did you know that the Spanish explorer, Hernando de Soto, encountered the river near present-day Memphis in 1541, becoming one of the first Europeans to do so? The river played a crucial role in the development of steamboat transportation in the early 19th century, revolutionizing travel and trade along the river, enabling faster and more efficient transportation. So what is causing the drying up of the magnificent Mississippi River? Some believe it is God's work, since he is angry with humans. In contrast, some associate it with global warming. However, there has been an unprecedented drought, with water levels dropping to historically low points in certain areas. This drought can be attributed to climate change, inadequate rainfall, and increased evaporation, leading to severe consequences for the river's existence. So, whoever thought this river was drying up because of global warming, was right. But the drying up of this river has caused multiple problems for people. The reduced water levels has significantly hindered the transportation of goods via barges on the river, disrupting shipping and causing significant difficulties in delivering goods. The problem also impacts agriculture, as farmers now struggle to irrigate their crops due to water scarcity, resulting in crop losses, inflation, and higher food prices. Furthermore, the drought has escalated the risk of wildfires scorching vast expanses of land within the Mississippi River Basin. 
Did you know that as the Mississippi River has receded, recently a shipwreck was discovered on the dry beds in Baton Rouge, Louisiana? The ship, believed to be a ferry that sank in the late 1800s or early 1900s, was discovered by a resident walking along the riverbank. The discovery has sparked interest from archaeologists and historians. It's a boast about 100 feet long and is in relatively good condition. The ship is a piece of history that can help us learn more about the Mississippi River and the people who lived in it. The Mississippi River, which has been a vital transportation and economic hub in the United States, is now facing a severe drought that could last for years. Memphis, located on the west side of the river, has been dramatically affected by this drought, which is expected to persist and extend for years. The Mississippi River has played a significant role in the economy of Memphis, as its location has made it an ideal place for moving goods and products. Industries such as farming, timber, manufacturing, and trade have all benefited from the river's location, making it an important economic center in the region. This drought has taken people's livelihoods away from agriculture and might even take food away from us. Memphis, a city which is famous for its music, particularly blues, is strongly connected to the Mississippi River and its history. The river is also famous for recreational activities and tourism with the city developing its riverfront area to offer parks, trails, and things to do for residents and visitors. Do you think these activities could have affected the river's health somehow? Well, yes, it has. Sadly, the Mississippi River is a victim of human activities. Humans have used and abused the abundance of resources the world has provided us since a memorial. We have committed many atrocities against this river, such as overusing the water resources for industrial purposes and agricultural purposes like irrigation. While agriculture seems like a noble pursuit, the demand for food also increases with the increase in population making the occupation harder. This pressures farmers to yield more crops. As the population grows, the demand for irrigated culture also rises, placing a strain on available water resources. One of the current problems with the Mississippi River is the surge of algae blooms. This arises in water bodies due to excess water nutrients and water scarcity. Algae blooms are a natural phenomenon, but can become problematic when the algae population grows too large, leading to hypoxia, a major problem in the Gulf of Mexico. When these blooms grow too large, they can deplete the water of oxygen, killing fish and other aquatic life. This drought has also led to salt water entering the Mississippi River from the Gulf of Mexico, making it easier for salt water to intrude upstream again. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is working to improve the Mississippi River navigation channel by deepening and widening the channel. Still, the situation remains challenging due to rising sea levels and salt water intrusion. Salt water intrusion poses several potential impacts, including contaminating freshwater supplies, killing aquatic life, damaging the river's ecosystem, and negatively impacting businesses and industries that rely on the Mississippi River. The diminished water levels have led to a decline in shipping activity. This has affected all industries' reliance on water transportation, such as agriculture and manufacturing. Also, this reduced shipping traffic has triggered a surge in shipping expenses. Now barges carrying smaller loads and have more frequent trips to transport the same quantity of goods, which has considerably driven up costs. Furthermore, past water levels have harmed the vital infrastructure, including levees and docks, making food control more arduous and loading goods on barges increasingly challenging. The Mississippi River drought has led to over 3,000 individuals being stranded without access to potable drinking water affecting aquatic ecosystems and causing water shortages in some areas. The scarcity of water compounds has caused water scarcity in irrigation and industrial usage. The drought has also introduced obstacles for birds and other animals in their search for sustenance and hydration. But the drought has also led to the discovery of hidden treasures, such as the shipwreck in Baton Rouge, which has sparked interest from archaeologists and historians. Despite the interest sparked amongst archaeologists and historians, this drought is more damaging to human life than it is interesting. The worse it gets, the truer the words. Water, water everywhere, not a drop to drink anywhere, will become. Well, this is it for today. Thank you for watching the video. What do you think? Do you think the U.S. government will be able to find a way to restore the Mississippi River to its original form? Or do you think the drought will only worsen and dry up the entire river system? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already.